Hello, there were 32 listings in Loveland this past week. As you can see, they go clear up here. This is actually the most expensive one. We'll take a look at that one. And there's a bank owned here, and there's just a nice variety. And so let's go start taking a look. Now we're going to look at a couple at the low end of it. 146 is the least expensive here. Nicely redone. And it's a one-car garage. And it's so nice that since it's nicely redone, they take us inside to look at any pictures. Silver Leaf is 147.9. And this one looks like it's, um, oh, I think it's bank-owned because they want it dewinterized. And that's usually the first key. Key and here it is summertime. No picture. Moving on. Garfield here, 1113, 31 at 167. Two car garage. Nice space. Interesting little place. Be fun to go look. Now let's keep going here because I do want to hit uh, 167 or 169.9 to be exact. Lots of wood floors and this is, as the agent says, a real bargain in the old town on the west side. Looks like they've done some really cute things to this one. This one's here in Sherry Mar. It's built in 1964. It looks vacant, don't you think? Whoa, what a blue color there. And it's, we're moving up to 170 still. 912 square feet. This place is tiny and no basement. So it may be priced a little bit high. Uh, but it's on the Enclave and Enchantment Ridge, so we'll see. This one was built in 1993, another vacant house, and we're hanging there right now at the 170s. Let's move on. Another one in one Sun Disc here, or Winsong for 174.59. Um, amazing three bedroom, two bedroom ranch with no basement. Here's one on West 9th cutie of a west side bungalow and you know some of these places that are older really are cute and the lots are nice and it's kind of fun to be downtown northlands buena vista 185 we're getting up there and as you can see there's a nice variety of places to take a look and let's go take a look at the upper end stuff these are kind of fun this one's listed at 899 now my guess on this one is that it was purchased and then it was taken and they went ahead and redid it. And my screen can't quite show the whole picture here. It does back to Boyd Lake. And this one you could water ski from. It looks like they've done a lot of nice things to this particular house. I'm not sure what the history is. I didn't really research it fully. You can build your own do boat dock. and um, But I think it's, had, it's tenant occupied. That always makes it a little bit more interesting. This one's now, we've gone down to 600 already. All brick ranch on 2.96 acres. I'm thinking we saw that one. This one is an R&R &R home. It's actually owned by one of the builders of R&R. &R. And so it's got a lot of extras at 530. It's probably a pretty nice deal. Especially when you think about the quality of construction that a builder puts in for their own house. Um, and of course some great views and sit outside and enjoy the fireplace. Tarragon, new construction in Thompson Crossing. This is a patio home and yes it's exciting to see somebody build again. So if you're interested in patio home only 415,000. Moving right on to River West. This one is mapped wrong so don't even try to map it because it's not going to take you to the right place. It's a patio home backing up to a beautiful lake and it's in Windsor, but look at this, folks. It says Loveland. So I, it's, and when you check county records, it also says that it's Windsor. So we're down to 365. So we don't have a whole lot in the upper end this week. Westerdahl's in Seven Lakes North. Beautiful ranch with nine-foot garden level finished basement, which means it's not a walkout. It's garden level. So if you like a little bit more security, that's one way to do it. Moving on, we're on Indian Head. It's 0.92 of an acre. It's an older house built in 1979. Pictures are a little bit darker. I, you can hard to see those pictures. I get bored with those. Glade Road, it's west of Loveland, and it's an area that just feels more spacious, more unique. It's built in 79. But look at the space that you have there. Isn't that lovely? And it looks like a place to put your RV. Well, we're running out of time, so let me know which houses you're interested in knowing more information about, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.